So if you don't know about the Friedel Crafts alkylation reaction, go to that playlist and you'll get to know. Uh, so we have done this. Now let's talk about step two. So step step two takes place in the presence of chlorine gas. Okay, so we are adding chlorine gas. Now is chlorine being added to the benzene ring, or is it being added to the alkyl side chain? We don't know about that. So let's figure it out. So if you see compound H, we have something substituted over here, but nothing on the benzene ring. And if we would have added uh, chlorine on the benzene ring, it would have stayed where it is. And this means that we are adding chlorine to the side chain instead of the benzene ring. So let's do that now. Uh, if we are adding uh, chlorine to the side chain, then if you remember, we are, make, we are doing a free radical substitution reaction because first we have a CH3. Let's look at this carbon. We have a CH3 over here. And in compound H, we have a CH2 NH2. That means one H atom has been substituted by the NH2 group. But this does not happen directly. We have to first make CH2Cl because if you remember from AS and also from the organic nitrogen compounds playlist, when you are adding an amine group, then you have to substitute a chlorine group for, for the a chlorine atom for that in a nucleophilic substitution reaction. So the CH2Cl, uh, we have to make CH2Cl from the CH3 and this is a free radical substitution reaction as you know. So the condition we use for free, for free radical substitution is ultraviolet light, the presence of ultraviolet light. So this is the only condition we need. Uh, you can watch the playlist I have made in the in the AS series, in the AS level series on this chapter uh, in which we are doing free radical substitution. It was the hydrocarbons chapter where we did it. So you can watch that playlist for more information on free radical substitution. But this will be free radical substitution and hence we will need ultraviolet light for it. Now. They're asking us to draw the structure of intermediate G in the box. So the benzene ring will stay as it is. It will stay as it is. That's a very good benzene ring. And I will make this again over here as it is, these two. But instead of this, we will have a Cl atom attached over here. So this is CH2 and this is a Cl. So this is what intermediate G is. And now we, uh, we have done this part as well. State the reagents and conditions needed for step 3. So if you've watched my playlist on organic nitrogen compounds, we know that the reagent is NH3, ammonia, and the condition is heat in a sealed container. Heat in a sealed container. So we are adding NH3 and we are heating NH3 with intermediate G to uh, uh, in, a, in a sealed container and then we will get compound H. So heat in a, uh, in a sealed container. So we are done with this as well. Now let's do the next question. So W can be synthesized in three steps starting from 2-oxopropanoic acid, X. So this is 2-oxopropanoic acid. We have X over here, then we are going to Y, and then to Z, and then we are forming W. So from X to W, we are taking these steps, and then we are forming W. So now the first question is, first question is, suggest the identities of compound Y and Z by drawing their structures in the box. So now let's see what is what 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 all changes have taken place when uh, X has changed to W. So one change that we can see is we have added and we have an ester group. So first we had a carboxylic acid group, which was this, but now we have an ester group. So we must have done something to make it an ester. Then uh, another change we can see is that we have an alkene over here. While we, and we have a CN. So here we had an oxygen and a CH3, but we have an alkene and um, we have a CN. So these are all the differences that have taken place. Now, compound Y, they have given us the molecular formula C4H6O3. So first, let's count the number of oxygen in each. Okay, so let's count the number of oxygen in X. We have three oxygens in X and 
we have two oxygens in W. That means that uh, these two oxygen oxygens haven't changed when it goes to Y, and this oxygen might not have.